Hey, Chris here. I'm going to go through uh, today's headlines and why you should not fear what's going on with the foreclosure misinformation that's being sent out there. OK, so fear based media is putting out that foreclosures are doubling in an enticing way to get you to click on the headlines and read their content. I'm going to go into more context as to why that's just not quite entirely true. So while headlines are saying U.S. foreclosure filings surged 115% in 2022, in my mind, that's, wow, that's a pretty big deal. That's doubling in the past year. That's huge. That's double the foreclosures. More context to follow. U.S. foreclosure activity doubles annually, but still below pre-pandemic levels. That one kind of plays on curiosity. What are pre-pandemic levels? I'll discuss that too. And then again, just to... A repeat foreclosure filings rose 115 percent in the past year keep in mind media and the news trying to put headlines out there to get you to click on their articles and uh, they're using fear as a tactic to get you uh, to do so so a little bit more context here start off with the information from attom a leading curator of real estate data nationwide so uh, they recently released its year-end 2022 u.s foreclosure market report which shows foreclosure filings default notices scheduled auctions and bank repos they were reported at 324,000 and change in 2022 so 324,000 foreclosures in 2022 that's a lot that's up 115 percent from 2021 but the piece of information that's missing from the news headlines is it's down 34% from pre-pandemic levels of 2019. So before the pandemic shook the market, we are down 34% from 2019, so still low. Foreclosure filings in 2022 were also down 89% from the peak of nearly 2.9 million at the peak of the housing crisis in 2010. So little more information here. U.S. foreclosure activity doubles annually, but still below pre-pandemic levels. If you look at the dark red uh, bars here on this chart, it's showing you the one, the, the foreclosure years that were over a million foreclosures in that year. OK, so 2007 to 2015, over a million. Uh, 2022, if you look, yeah, they doubled from 151 to 324. However, still quite below uh, historic averages or what they've been uh, for the past 17 years or so. So I was personally involved in buying a lot of foreclosures um, when I got to investing in 2009, 10, 11, uh, where I got started. Then I actually worked for a hedge fund around 2012, 13, 14, where I was literally going to foreclosure auctions. They were wiring me a million dollars a month to go buy foreclosed property in San Antonio, Texas. Okay. They were wiring me a million dollars. I'd go bid at properties at auction on the foreclosure on the courthouse steps with dozens and dozens, sometimes hundreds of other people when we were about a 10% foreclosure rate or 1.4 million uh, foreclosures. Okay. Nowhere near where we're at at that point uh, today. 324,000. That is a lot. We're sorry for the people that did have to go through a foreclosure and did lose their homes. Um, that is a part of home ownership, and historically, we're still below those levels. You might want to think, hey, well, um, you know, 2005, it started to peak and go up. 2005, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, it, 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 it went up. You have to keep in mind at that time, those were some of the riskiest mortgages. Uh, here, I'm going to go back. Some of the riskiest mortgages were given during that time. This is the Mortgage Credit Availability Index. So in that time, if you could breathe on a mirror, and sometimes you didn't even have to breathe on a mirror, you could get a mortgage, okay? If you had uh, a pulse, you could get a mortgage, stated income, stated everything, okay? Now, since the financial crisis, June 08 to today, the Mortgage uh, Credit Availability Index is pretty in control, all right? So a uh, rating of 103 at the peak we were at uh, 868, right? So during the peak, just before all of this happened and the foreclosures went absolutely through the roof, mortgages were really loosely regulated and anyone could get a mortgage. So we look at percentage of distressed properties uh, last year. So through the uh, memorandums and, and forbearance and these things that were given to people in need that needed them to, to, to stall and allow people an opportunity to get out of, of the foreclosure process, it 
you know, really stopped foreclosures. And now we're, we're bumping back up from that. that. That's what's going on. If we look a little bit deeper into this chart, um, we're looking at the average of 2017 through 2019 of about 600,000 foreclosures. That's about the historic average. We're looking 19, 20, 21, 22, short significantly of that average, okay? So there's, there's, there's not gonna be this huge, huge fluctuation where there's gonna be all of these foreclosure opportunities, okay? What we're gonna look at here is this last quote. 18 months after the end of the government's foreclosure mor moratorium, with less than 5% of the 8.4 million borrowers who entered the CARES Act forbearance program remaining, only 5% of 8.4 million borrowers are remaining in, in the forbearance, problem, uh, uh, forbearance program, okay? Foreclosure activity remains significantly lower than it was prior to the COVID pandemic. It seems clear that the government and mortgage industry efforts during this pandemic, coupled with a strong economy, have helped prevented millions of unnecessary foreclosures. All right, so don't give in to the headlines. Uh, we're not going into this massive time where we're gonna see millions of foreclosures anytime soon, if at all. So just be educated, be informed. The bottom line is there will be an increase in foreclosures over the next year from record low levels, but there will not be a huge wave of distressed sales as happened following the housing bubble. The distressed sales during the housing bust led to cascading price declines, and that will not happen this time, okay? So stay educated, my friends. Make smart mortgage and wealth decisions. Build long-term wealth for you and your family. If you know anyone looking to buy, sell, or refinance, please send them our way. And if you like this video, found it informative, please share with two friends that you know, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Catch you next time. Bye.